Hello, my name is Mike Prom, Applications Engineer for Applied Engineering. We're we'll looking at fusion technology inside Inventor today. Let me start off by creating some hooks. Uh, the first feature of Infusion I want to talk about is being able to create multiple designs very quickly. You notice when I right click, I have options right around my mouse. Uh, Fusion is a little bit more different of a technology than Inventor, where it's uh, direct modeling. You push and pull. Um, also, making changes are not going to be parametric, what you're used to with other cat packages. As you're noticing here, I'm just doing some quick sketching and I'm um, going to be uh, extruding out this part. Again, when I'm right clicking or clicking on the parts, components, notice that all the functionality is right around my mouse. Inventor, along with Inventor Fusion, are trying to reduce the amounts of uh, movement you're going to be doing with your mouse. Now, as I'm going through this design, a lot of functionality I'm used to regular CAD design is still here, still creating new sketches, uh, still being able to reference geometry, as you can see here as I'm continuing out with my sketch. Instead of just creating lines, you're going to be using a draw tool inside of Fusion, uh, but it's going to be the same type of sketching that you're used to. Once I have another sketch completed, again, notice that every time I'm done, you're just going to right click and see my options and hit the check mark. Uh, there is still a, a ribbon like you're used to with regular Inventor, but again, uh, Autodesk is trying to reduce the amount of movement you're doing with your mouse, so all the functionality is going to be right around that right click. Now as I'm continuing to build up this design, um, like I said, the first thing here is going to be with Fusion, um, being able to make a bunch of different quick models. Also going to be talking about how you can bring in other different CAD files. And then the third one is going to be communicating back and forth with Inventor. So basically those are the three big advantages to me of using the Fusion technology. Here again, just doing a, a quick extrusion making sure to grab all the surfaces I want to be extruding as you can notice here and again that push and pull technology it's a direct modeler so that if I want to make any changes here you can see after I have this first uh, code hook designed I can simply just go and grab my push pull button I can actually change the dimension of these holes here just by dragging the arrows I also have the capability of typing in the dimensions of what I like it to be also, I can simply just do a push pull on the edge and it turns into a, a fillet. Um, we can also do chamfers, anything that you're used to with the CAD package, you can do it here as well. Another tool is uh, being able to come in and uh, do the push pull on the outer surface. Notice how it changes the, the actual depth of the product, but then if I click on the outside, it does the diameter of the knob here and then I'm also able to grab both the surfaces at once and change both of them relative to each other. Again, th this direct modeling is something that takes a little bit to get used to, uh, but what you learn very quickly that it's a very easy tool to use and you're able to make multiple changes or get some design ideas across very, very quickly. Now, along with being on the push and pull, um, the different dimensions, I can actually just grab features and drag them to different areas I, I'd like them to, to be at. Um, again, it's it's something that allows me to uh, get different ideas across. Also, you know, deleting a feature or a hole here uh, very quickly, coming in and uh, now patterning it out to put in three different uh, screw holes, um, doing different ideas, playing around with concepts. Um, one thing you'll notice, I didn't actually grab an axis when I'm doing my pattern here. I can just grab the outside diameter of that circle and it's going to grab the center point to use as my axis. Also, uh, when I'm doing a fillet, I simply can select one edge and then continue to select edges so that they all are going to be filleted together. And again, we're just going to drag the property to the distance we'd like it to be or we could type in a dimension. Now, uh, once I have a fillet in here, I'm just going to make one more quick little tweak to uh, the height of this hook. Again, um, once I have a different change completed, I'm going to right click and you're going to see that check arrow. It's important that after you're done doing a fillet or a change that you do your right click and check. Uh, if you hit escape or anything like that, it's just going to skip the step that you just did. Now, um, 
continue on with this idea that quickly coming up with concepts, uh, Venture Fusion, this is a great tool for doing that. You can see I quickly came up with about five different concepts, changing the diameter of the knob on top, uh, the amount of holes that are going to be inside of this hook, you know, depending on the weight I'd want to use for it, uh, the dimension of my fillets, the location of um, the holes, everything, you know, very quickly just came up with a couple of different concepts to get my ideas across. Now that I've done some ideas, let's take a look at what uh, Fusion can do with other CAD packages. You can see I can actually just quickly open up a CATIA file. So Fusion versus you know Inventor or regular CAD packages allows me to come in and make changes to a model that uh, I don't know the history behind it. Uh, because Fusion is direct modeling, I can just grab a hole uh, from this CATIA file, change the diameter of that hole. Not only that, but I can change the depth of another hole as you can see here. Um, along with pushing and pulling the, the dimensions of this I can actually change the location as well. Basically everything I was doing with my code hook I'm able to do with this CATIA file as well. Think about how useful this can be when you get a, a Pro-E file or unit graphics, any kind of type of file like that where you don't have your history. Uh, using Inventor Fusion allows you to come in and make those changes. Along with that, uh, I can come in and I could add a hole or a sketch and remove some material. In this case, I'm just going to add a, a quick little hole to the surface. With that completed, again, using my uh, pattern tool, I'm going to put multiple mounting holes inside of this feature here. The nice thing again is when I'm doing a pattern, I don't have to actually grab an axis. I can just select an outside edge of a, a circle here to use and then knows how to pattern around that properly. And um, another feature, just be able to remove again holes uh, like you saw what I was doing with my hook. The third functionality of Fusion for me is be able to communicate back and forth with Inventor. Now this part here is something I started design in Inventor, bringing order in Fusion. Uh, let's take an example of maybe there's a bunch of team members working together, somebody starts off the design, somebody else wants to take a look at it and make some changes, or maybe it's your boss manager that wants to make some changes to this. Uh, they don't know a CAD package very well, but they're able to come in here, quickly just delete some holes, uh, change the geometry. Um, don't have to know the history, again, behind this because they just want to communicate their ideas. You also notice here that when I come and want to make this hole, um, there's going to be an error that pops up, that red triangle on the lower right hand side of the screen there. That's because those holes need to be removed first before I can actually do this extrusion feature. As you can see when I hit the check mark, so I can simply just come in and uh, remove those holes and continue on with my design. Now, once I'm complete with my design, I can actually just save this. And when I'm done uh, and have this saved, I can then jump into Inventor and take a look at what has been changed. Again, if I was going back and forth between uh, team members or you know maybe management, somebody that doesn't know the CAD package very well, they can commute their ideas across. Now, jumping into Inventor, you can see when I open the part back up again, the change manager appears, shows me what features have been changed. I can select if I want to make those changes, and then now I'm completed those steps inside of Inventor. Now that's what I have for Inventor Fusion. Look forward to seeing you on the other steps that I'm going to be doing with what's new in Inventor 2011. Thank you.